I have spent ages making this piece of tin. Way too long. But this is the corner of the boot floor for tomato. Uh, the bit of bar connected to it is nothing to do with it. It's just a guide it. But it goes in like... Yeah, go in something like that when I've fettled it and welded it and whatnot. And then on the back of it, there'll be another plate, which will be a slightly beefier one. And to that, I will weld this. That's the hanger, and that's, yeah, that's what's left of it. Yeah, I'm so I'm recovering a little bit more rust here and there. Hmm. To be fair, that normally goes under the rain seal, weather seal, so uh, it's a bit flaky under there. That I can just kind of, I can just treat that. And... This is going to need cutting out, which is fine because it'll give me a bit more access to cut that out and replace that as well. Um, that bit is largely in now. Um, it's not, there's no, nothing on it to pretty it up yet, or, you know, nothing to, uh, finish it off, but, um, but that'll do for now, uh, there'll be a bit more going on top of that, other, well, products, seam sealer, all that kind of thing, and then I've got to put on a reinforcement plate, so I can weld the hanger back on, but, numpty balls here, uh, didn't take a proper measurement of where that hanger goes. I thought I had, and I hadn't. So I'm gonna have to wait until I've got the exhaust on before I do it all. But that, to be fair, that's fine because I'm gonna make exhaust bits anyway for this downpipe, and that'll allow me to get everything just right. I'd start with a problem, actually. I fitted a new exhaust to the tomato. I fitted this, and it was really, really loud. It wasn't, it was rubbish, if I'm honest. I know it's smaller, but I didn't want to end up in the same position I was with Vecchi, and I can't figure out why. I mean, you know, it's all new stuff. <laughs> Jokes. No, this is obviously my new uh, equipment. So this is the old exhaust system here. This isn't the full exhaust. This is everything up to the cross box. So there's a silencer that will go on the end there that you can't see because I don't have the right... Uh, What's the word? Lens. Um, yeah, basically, this is the silent, so I'm gonna replace this one with. The original is an oval. This is round, and as you can see, we've got a slightly longer box. It's smaller that way, it's quite well packed. Um, and then this piece will come out here, and this original piece will slot onto it. I'm gonna tidy this up. It looks a bit rough, but to be honest with you, I could have bought a new one, or James could have bought a new one, but. Like the, you know, the amount of, there's nothing wrong with this, it just looks a bit rough, and like trying to get parts at the moment, it's just, the prices have all shot up, the quality's all over the place, this is a half decent one. So, basically I'm going to tack on this section here, I'm obviously going to cut this end off first, and then I'm going to start putting together all the pieces that are going to go on the front of it to form the downpipe. It's a straight line from that curve back, which is good, because it makes it easier. Well, it's all going to look a little bit Eve Robinson, but when you can't get hold of new parts, sometimes you have to improvise. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, try and split this from this with the wrong type of disc on the grinder. If I cut this clamp, I'm not even going to bother trying to undo that. No point even trying. Come on. Do you reckon that will come off? <laughs> of course it won't. Uh, this is where I'm going to make that, start regretting that decision. I'm going to think, hang on, I should have just got a new one. One hour later. As I was saying, it's out. It's done, it's not focusing. So, that will go on the end of 
the new one, moment of truth, does it fit? It will, but I've bent it slightly, but yes, it will. That needs cleaning up, but otherwise it's in fairly, it's in decent condition. It, I know it doesn't look it, but I've learned that sometimes it's better just to stick with what you've got rather than trying to find new bits. That's a stainless box because the mild one was three pound less. So it wasn't really worth it, but that's mild. I've just gone with mild still because I didn't want it to look, it's gonna look non-standard, but I didn't want it to be obviously non-standard, especially as it's not having a stainless back box or a stainless cross box. They're OEM, or OE style. So yeah, there's no point having a shiny stainless bit there and then a mild steel bit, which although it looks nice now, it will look rubbish and well, a few weeks of driving, I'd have thought. Um, so yeah, hopefully this will all age at a similar kind of rate. The only bit I might, um, I'm gonna give the hockey stick pipe a little lick of silver, so it ages at the same rate as the centre box. Um, the only bit I might go a bit deeper on, possibly, is that downpipe bit there, because that's, I don't want that to go. You have to protect those at all costs. Um, so that's that bit gone. So the next thing I need is I need to get mm. I need to get this bit off with its divider. And it's basically what I've done. You've got your normal size pipe here, um, and it sort of it's expanded over the top of this one and welded. So what I've managed to find from this really useful exhaust supplier actually, I'll put a link to them at the end of the video um, or in the description because it's not an advert, but like you can just buy stuff. You can just buy all the universal bits. You can buy the angles, the silencers. The silencers come in a million different sizes. You can buy different adapters. So that there should be big enough to sleeve over that and replicate that. It's not quite as slick as that one, admittedly. It won't flow quite as nicely, but I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference in the real world. But yeah, that'll allow me to, I'll have to cut that end off. That end's flared, because that's, that's actually a joiner pipe. I'll chop that end off and that'll go kind of on there like that. And then the new silencer will go there. And then a section of that straight stuff goes out the back of it into the hockey stick. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna chop this off here, and then I'm gonna try and, <laughs> I don't want to reduce, if I cut this here, which would be the quickest thing to do, then it's getting shorter and shorter. I don't wanna do that, I wanna keep that divider as long as I can. So I'm, I'm gonna cut it here, and see how much of it under there is in good condition, because if it is, I'll just sleeve over that bit. But if not, then I'll just cut it back completely. But you know, you gotta do these things, you gotta do them as, as well as you can. If you think, oh, there's an ideal way of doing that, do it, because I'm not paying for it, am I? Sorry, James. Okay. I've never looked in one of these before. Yep, it is what I thought. It's just, you can't see. So yeah, inside it's just the other end of that. You see it there like that? Yeah. So that's all that is, that's a, a pipe that's been flared and opened up, so it actually ends about, about there. And there's a good half, inch and a half there, maybe an inch. Yeah, go on, let's preserve it. Let's turn this, this isn't just bodgery, this is, this is an artist at work. Would anyone like this piece of the tomato? Hurry up. It will be going in the scrap pile. So.
Adapt, improvise, overcome. If you need a Citroen BX 16 valve downpipe. How well have I cut it? <laughs> I'm sorry, but come on. Someone did actually make this point in the comments, because I do read the comments and I've tried to respond to them and I've covered the lens and stuff. Hang on, I'm gonna change, get that off because lenses are expensive. Yeah, so I've knackered my lens. That's annoying. It's got scratches in. I can't actually see them on the little screen here, but yeah, I didn't realize the sparks were hitting the camera. That's a pain, so I'm gonna move this. I'm using the wrong camera really, but the other one is an absolute pig with lighting. It just, it's either too dark or it's too light, and then all the um, LED, all the LED lights make it trip out, and yeah, it's just rubbish, so. But yeah, to be fair, I do need to get a new lens for this camera. I need to get a wider angle one, because it's, yeah. So basically, I'll carry on around here, and then uh, grind away the original welds, and then, yeah, let's see, uh, probably, probably stick it in the, in the grip blaster, I would think. That's probably the best thing to do. It looks like a lot of work, I know, but, well, it is. But you could, you could just go and buy an aftermarket one, you know, have someone make you one, but it won't be quite right. It won't sound quite like a BX-16 valve is supposed to sound. There we go. So my, this pipe, this is a moment of truth, this thing should, Oh, that's so satisfying. Well, I'm gonna have to cut this off because this is actually made to, this is actually made to clamp on. So I'm gonna cut this end off. I'm not gonna clamp it on, I'm obviously gonna weld it on, although it does, it lines up with the with the lines. Oh man, that's so satisfying. Right, yeah, so I'm gonna grind this down. I'm not gonna film that because sparks will just go everywhere and I've already wrecked one expensive camera lens. Right, so I've now ground this end bit here flush, and I've also cut the end off that piece that um, I bought, which had a slightly flared end that end. That will now go on like this, which looks exceptionally satisfying. It, it, especially that it's got a slit in it there and a slit in it there. And I'm gonna leave those and just go zzz, zzz, up the slit. Um, so that will, that's how that will sit. So I've got the full length here. I haven't cut this down at all. It looks a bit rubbish there, but obviously it's all gonna be contained. Yeah, I, I've got the full length. If, I, if I'd taken it back here, it would look a little neater. This is all a bit rickety and rough, but I'd have shortened that section that has the divider in it. And although it's only an inch and a half, if that, I mean, talking for the older people there, I'd, in millimeters, that's about 25, um, 20, 25, something like that. You know, it's not really, it doesn't seem like it's gonna lose much, but I, I, it can, it really can. So, yeah, there we go. That'll get welded on there. I've got to shot blast this first. I did think, I did say I was gonna take the uh, camera over to the shot blaster and film it, um, but I can't because my camera will get shot blasted because you can't see in through the window because I've got both my hands in there. So I've not thought that through. But yeah, there's just a shot blast cabinet. I'll, I'll sacrifice the camera one day, why not? I often stop and ask myself, why don't I use the shot blaster more? I mean, you know, you can clean everything with it. Um, well, it's because it's crap. I forgot, that's why I don't use it, it's rubbish. So I've got that much done. I've given up the rest of it. I'll use a flat wheel, one of the paint removal wheels. They're really good. So I've done all the intricate bits, but the pipe, I'll just take it off manually. It's not quite as good as shot blasting, but I haven't got time. But I've cleared the bit that I need to weld. So that will go on like that. So I'm gonna weld that now. How long this needs to be, I don't know, and I'm not gonna know until it goes on the car. So I'll have to bolt this onto the car. 
and then measure roughly where it needs to be cut and then I'm going to have to cut that and butt weld it to this. So I'm going to have to butt weld this bit. So that means I'm just going to push two pieces together and weld them, which is pretty normal really, but it's just when you can sleeve something like this, it makes it so much easier. But yeah, it's all right. It's actually, it's quite a nice fit. It's quite a nice sort of snug arrangement there. Um, yeah, that's fine. So I'll weld that now. Then I'll have some lunch and allow the batteries to recharge the cameras. <laughs> so yeah, buzz this together. That's that bit done. Yeah, the reason I want to get the exhaust all fitted and put on the car and just sort of fit it up in place is because I need to weld the exhaust hanger on. I've got a reinforcement plate I've got to make for the corner of the boot floor. I've repaired the corner that actually rusted, but then you have a second part. I'm actually going to make it out of this. That's um, is that two mil? No, not quite two mil, but that's that's some thick plate steel, and that will kind of it won't be that big, but that will go. If you imagine that's the corner of the boot floor, it will go welded in there as like a gusset, and then the hanger gets welded to it. So if you weld the hanger to the boot floor or the boot wall, that's only thin steel. So and that's how they did it from the factory. So that's what I'll do. So yeah. I don't know where to put that hanger until I've got the rest of the exhaust made, that's the problem, So, because uh, it has to look spot on. It has to look absolutely bob on, um, otherwise I will not sleep at night. One front bit of the exhaust. Professional. And there we go, one homemade BX 16 valve downpipe. Uh, I didn't make the top bit, I didn't actually make any of it, but I put it together. So there is one of them. I actually have another one. You're thinking, why didn't you just fit that? Well, it's not mine, this is off another car. So there's an original, and there is the up and down special. Yeah. Uh, this is lighter, so we save some weight straight away. Um, silencer wise, I'll get you a bit of a size difference there, if I'm honest, but you notice how this one, I don't even know what brand this is. Look how much further the divider comes down on this one, it's down to here. That's about as far as the genuine one. The gen yeah, the genuine one is about there. That one was up there somewhere, but to be fair, tomato went well, so um, however it was, it's it's Seems quite happy. I've had to grind all that welding down that I did on the other bit because, man, it was ugly. It's all, it was horrible. So I've had to grind it all, grind it all off, but the rest of it's come out okay. Yeah, quite pleased overall. 
obviously we won't know how well that works until it's on and painted and you can't see my head. You will note it's kind of teetering. It's, the exhaust system's all fitted at the moment, but not fitted fitted, it's kind of dry fitted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the bumper back on just so I can check where this needs to sit because I've got to fit that exhaust hanger, which is... Yeah. I need to sort something out with that first, but yeah, that will go up there, like probably about there. But I need the bumper first to see where that's got to sit. So I can just slide it on. I haven't got to bolt it. The mud flap's hitting the exhaust naturally. And then that will go. Oh, God. That's about right. That's not, that's popped out. I'm guessing this stupid, no? Stopping this. Ah, it's fitted quite nicely actually. Right, so that basically needs to be about there, I would say. The jerry isn't, oh, hang on, it's come off. The jerry is not um, out on whether this looks better or worse than the last one. There's a lot of people watch this and go, that looks worse. That's how they looked. So I don't know why, but that's pretty much bob on where it's meant to be. So yeah, now, um, well, I'm gonna knock it on the head and go home. But tomorrow I'm gonna come in and make the re No, I'm not gonna make that because tomorrow I've got a Porsche coming in and I've got to do the door and um, window regulator on it. But I'm gonna make a reinforcement plate sort out that hanger, weld that on, and then that's all done. Then the exhaust will come back off. I've got to take it back off to be able to do the steering rack work anyway. Um, and when it's off, I'll probably give it a quick lick of paint at the front um, and try and clean up that hockey stick pipe. But yeah, that's, that shows it works, it fits. The, uh, the bit I made isn't hanging too low under the car. In fact, it's nice and flush with the underside of the car, so that's good. Win-win. Oh, there's, of course, the holes in there, which I've now found which looks absolutely fine. This side, mint. Oh no, maybe apart from that tiny little bubble there. That side, yeah, a mess. So this side, I'm gonna have to cut a chunk out, cut this whole section here off the car, fix it, and then weld it back on the car, because it's the only way I can do it. That'll be fun. Right, go away.